Just like us humans, dairy cows need to keep fit and eat a balanced diet to stay healthy. So how do farmers ensure that their herd has the nutrients it needs? We're here on a farm in Staffordshire to find out. Well, joining me now is Jason Bailey, who owns the farm here, and Tim Davis, the nutritionist expert. Tim, how important is a cow's diet? Uh, it's vital because... Uh, it has to be balanced and it's got to supply all the energy and the protein and the starch and sugar and the fibres that the cow needs. And uh, if you get it balanced, then cow health and welfare sort of picks up and... Tim, we often hear that uh, cows have four stomachs, which yes. seems quite unusual. Just how complex is their digestive system? Uh, it's really complicated. Uh, cows have got four stomachs. One of them is a true stomach, like ours, and the other three are uh, large fermentation vessels. And they basically enable the cow to filter and sort the food and break down poor quality forages into high quality nutritious feed for the cow, which then goes on to feed us. And uh, so it is, it is a really, it's a wonder really of nature. So Tim, just tell me what a diet plan is. Uh, a diet plan is the, uh, the, the, the ration that you put together for the different types of cows on the farm. So some will be pregnant cows, some will be late lactation cows, some will be early lactation cows giving different quantities of milk. And um, the diet plan starts with the forages and the uh, analysis of the forages. And then we balance it with a muesli type feed, uh, which is the dr dry ingredients, which is this behind us. So um, this is, um, this is the, the muesli, and it looks just like muesli as well. Um, and that is predominantly protein, a uh, bit of cereals, and some various digestible byproducts, uh, minerals and vitamins, uh, and a few clever ingredients. So Tim, why is it so important to get this part right? Uh, it's important because it uh, uh, has a domino effect on the rest of the farm. And uh, if we get this right, then the cows are healthy and then they produce lots of milk and they get back in calf and, uh, and Jason's happy and, and everybody's sort of happy together. So Tim, just tell me uh, how the seasons impact on how cows are fed. Um, well, most farms, uh, cows will be going out to grass in the summer and then coming in uh, to a house system in the winter. And uh, on the summer, uh, they're on nutritious grass, which is high in protein, high in vitamins, and you tailor and adjust the diet to match that. And then when they come indoors, uh, you change the diet again. And Jason, if they're out to grass in the summer and sort of in here in the winter time, uh, how do you manage to get all the different nutrients into their diet? Uh, we've taken to uh, letting the cows out early in the morning, particularly in the summertime when it's really hot, because by 12 o'clock um, we've had some quite hot summers this last couple of years. So uh, the cows will go out sort of 5am and then come back in sort of half past 11, 12 o'clock time when the, when the sun's at its uh, hottest. And then they'll come back into a ration that you can sort of see here. Uh, you have a lot of new technology on this farm. How does that help you sort of in terms of feeding your calves? We have a computerised system to feed the calves, so uh, when the calf first goes onto the uh, system it gets its individual collar with a transponder on, and then we have a base machine where the calf goes in and it gets recognised, and then we enter the calf into the programme, and uh, it builds up its nutrition over a, a period of uh, days, and then it's weaned off very slowly from the milk so that we don't get any... Uh, any sudden changes or any growth checks or anything like that and we've found the calves are much healthier um, and they're fed uh, four times every 12 hours so it's little and often and uh, it really works well.